Hello guys and welcome to episode 121 of my Empire Total War campaign playing as Great Britain on very hard difficulty. Previously Gordon Amherst won a crazy battle against Sweden. That was pretty awesome. We won mainly due to the AI bugging out at the end but he held on for long enough for that to happen. We got 2,500 kills and lost about 1,000 or so men. Yeah, pretty nice indeed. Alright, let's just go through these messages quickly. Some successful missions. Got a recruitment report. This navy here, good to go. Let's just uh, have them all go and tuck into this fleet. Alright, public servant dies. We've got construction report, roads, roads everywhere. Gordon Amherst gets the bloody trait and superior general after that battle. That's awesome. Ralph Allen, our gentleman, died of natural causes, but he was replaced already. And then we have this very poor building here in Wales. Swansea. Well, we'll go for the craft workshops there. All right, awesome. So, things we're gonna do today. First of all, take Stockholm. They refused the surrender after our awesome battle. Now we're gonna take the city for ourselves. So after we beat them, it pushed all of their armies away from the city. So, they've got three armies sat about that just aren't going to be able to do anything. They're just going to have to surrender their nation to us. <laughs> Look at these units. They're just so, like, beat up. I barely have enough guns to get through the wall here. Let's deploy over on this side. Actually, I can't deploy on that side. Okay, maybe over here somewhere. Yeah, here's fine. Uh, do we only have three guns? Oh no, we have five guns, okay. I was going to say, it's going to take forever to get through the wall. Got our rockets as well. The uh, rest of the units can just line up. Completely unevenly. Like, really going to trigger my OCD, but oh well. Uh, do we have any other units over there? It's just a cab, isn't it? That's all good. Haven't lost, left any behind. Just start firing away. I might even get the rockets to hit the wall as well. Just to speed things up a little bit. There is some reinforcements coming in, but I think they're just going to run straight into the settlement. They're not going to bother us. If they do bother us, I'll have to do something about it, but we will see. Oh, looks like they are. They are going to bother us. Interesting. Uh, let's see. What unit can I use? We're just going to have to turn around and shoot them. That's the general of that unit. Okay, well that's fine. As long as the cannons are good. I'm okay with this. I'm actually going to keep these like next to the cannon just so that they can't do that again. Now they do have some horse artillery. Let's go uh, attack those with our cav. Okay, that's one down. <laughs> Let's take out the other one. Wait, how are they killing my horses? I'm not even fighting back. Alright, well, maybe it's the cannons from the walls. Or the invisible people on the horses. I don't know. Either way, we've nearly made a breach.
wait for that to happen. Imagine being the poor guy who randomly gets hit by rockets. I think one of these has died. I saw a unit with 79 men. Yeah, this one. All tucked on here. Put a rocket into those guys. They'll all die at once. That'd be pretty hilarious. Nearly there. Brilliant. Alright, let's limber them back up. And what we're going to do is obviously just move forwards as usual. Toward the breach. We'll have a couple units come in like so. This unit can cover this side. Put a small unit in there as well. Grab any that aren't, and we'll just tuck them up here. Right, let's get them all running. All of the infantry at least. I want them to be there before the main line. Or the, before the cannons even. Uh, as for our rockets, they need to have a target. Uh, maybe we can just fire them into the center. Why not? Are they even in range? Yeah, they are. Alright, here we go. The breach trick. I've missed you. You make battles so easy. Not that I like easy battles, but... This is just so satisfying. Like, how can I not do this? unit there. Uh, maybe we just turn these around and engage. That's a lot of them already dead. Imperial line infantry. Oh, hello, rockets. Hello, rockets. Right, well, that's the majority of their men dead now. Are they going to send any more over? I don't think so. Alright, stop that. Run these guys inside. Let's go capture the center. Have all the men just run inside. Stop the rockets firing. Stockholm is nearly ours. They're bringing the Phylocom citizenry out. That's fine. Actually, just go get in that building. They want to fight us in there, they can. The likelihood is we can just shoot them to death. How many can I put in there? Can I put, like, all of my regiments in there? Not that it really matters, because, um... 
The battle has ended, and that's a, a heroic victory. Stockholm is ours. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Sweden's dealt with finally. Oh, so, so good. So good. It's just so good. That's been a long, long time coming, guys. A long time coming. Alright, well, uh, let's go through their buildings in there. Um, province here. <laughs> oh, look at the map, guys. It looks so good. You can keep at least one College of Divinity. I don't mind that. Although this is probably like 100% Protestant, isn't it? So it probably doesn't matter. We could probably get rid of it. Um, Sweden, they held out. In the end, it didn't matter. Let's uh, burn that down. Although actually it's very poor, so it doesn't really make much of a difference. Okay. Um, the army can start to replenish. That's going to cost me a lot. Then it's just a matter of uh, getting them onto the ships next turn and going from there. Uh, they're going to be going straight to India, those ones. Uh, we've got this lot heading up to Denmark. And let's just sail over there. Just, uh, casually arriving. Don't worry about me, Denmark. <laughs> See a massive British fleet. They're like, oh, this was inevitable. <laughs> uh, it's great. Let's just uh, set it up as a trade port. And uh, we'll carry on here. Actually, I'm tempted to just make that a fishery. Let's just make that a fishery. Increase tax by population. Right, most of these armies are good to go. Yes. This one needs to get inside the settlement. Yes. Uh, this one I would send down there, but it's a bit of a waste of time. Let's just go up the yes. main road. Attack these guys. We lost quite a lot of men there. Forward. Just carry on. By the left. Or if we're going to replenish by the time we get out of the... Uh, province, but no oh well. Uh, let's carry on up here. If we bump into a big army with this army, we're going to be kind of screwed. But I have faith. Alright, let's uh, bring all of these out and attack these. Alright, we win that time. A couple armies coming down. But we are in range to attack again. I send back as many as we need to. Okay, and then we can use the rest to just clean them up. Or they can keep running away. Yeah, I should really uh, play those out sometimes because that is just so annoying. Just a waste of time though. It's not like we don't have the money to repair stuff if they raid it. Oh, those guys can jump in Damascus. Alright. Let's go through our soldiers. He can't move. He's already got orders. Uh, here, I'm tempted to just take out these guys. I think we're going to do that. And if I can move out of Persia, then we probably should. But no, we're going to stay there for now. This army's on its way down. Now we have this lot in Finland. Uh, maybe we could jump them on the ships if they're not needed in that province. Uh, they are. Well, one is. That's fine. Wait, can I not actually get on there? That's so weird. Right. And drop them off on there. Okay.
go through the rest of these. They've already got orders. This one needs to attack these guys. Uh, they're fine. That's fine. And that's fine. All right, 15,000 to spend. I think Paris makes us the most money, right? So we may as well just upgrade the stuff here. Their tax rate is currently 20%. What about here? That's 19.5. Uh, I think Madrid pretty high? No. Well, way less money there. It's like 18,000 tax. Or 18,000 region wealth in France. It's like only 8,000 in Spain. Actually more in Portugal. I think Muscovy is quite a big one. Yep. And what about uh, Ankara? That's not actually really that big. Hmm. What's the tax rate here? 20.9. Okay, so it would actually be better to build stuff here because that would actually make us more money. Although it looks like a lot of this stuff's already quite upgraded. Hmm. Well. I'll put my money into it anyway. Lovely. Okay, and uh, from that, everything is done. So, I think it is anyway. Those are moving on their own. I mean, a lot of the navies are already have already got orders. So, I don't really care about moving them. Yeah, they're all just going to move themselves at the end of the turn, so I'm not going to bother wasting my time doing that. Let's end the turn. Yes. Destination right, the Maratha Confederacy. Mysore and Denmark, the three nations that are left. I think Mysore might actually be the last ones alive. Is uh, are we at war with them? I'm not even sure. I think we are. <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> They're actually going to attack that settlement. No, they just sieged it. Okay. Well, I guess we'll have to go deal with that. Got successful mission there. City besieged. Let's wipe them out. Thank you very much. We'll head back to Azerbaijan. Agent executed. Oh, that was the one here. Sad times. Uh, works on strike. Uh, they're all okay. They don't mind. And this is prosperous. Let's just uh, put a craft workshop there. Did I destroy any other ones? No, I left it in up here, didn't I? Yeah. Alright. Masters of demands. Got traits. We save that city, and that's all fine. Fantastic. We're only making 21,000 per turn now. Uh, I think that was because the Maratha Confederacy was, yeah, trading with Sweden. And now we don't have that trade to raid anymore. So at least this, these guys can go back and uh, fix themselves up. Maybe this is a navy. Actually, why don't we do that? Yeah, why don't we make this the navy we actually use to uh, ferry the army coming across from America? That would be a good idea. Alright, let's just fix those up then. And that way, yeah, we can use these ships for this army. Uh, these ships are obviously going to be used for this army. Uh, we declare war on these guys. Great. Lovely. Uh, do we attack the navy? I feel like that's a bit overkill. I think I'm just going to sit there, and uh, yeah, we'll we'll let them get away. It's fine. 
Unless I do something annoying like blockade my trade, but there's not much trade coming through there. It's fine. Um, let's see. This guy's moving down. Uh, I'm probably just going to leave him to do his own thing. Uh, this one's fine. This one's fine. These guys kind of need to replace the men in the city. I can put three in there already. I just moved the rockets out. Not possible, sir. Why is that not possible? Useless people. Okay. And then we can put them in there. Okay. I'm just going to move them, because otherwise I can't keep track of which ones I have moved and which ones I haven't. Uh, this one needs to attack. Okay, that's job done. And he can carry on. Uh, this one can actually reach Baluchistan. So I think we just go for this attack. Let's do it. Uh, we will ask for their surrender. Alright. And they refuse my tea once again. So we shall slaughter them all. Oh, this is only a small fort. Alright, well, it's going to be easier. Uh, we'll just unlimber these. Uh, we'll just have my men line up like so. Alright, all good. I don't know which part of the wall we can hit. I think it's this wall. It can be broken down, I'm not entirely sure. I don't want to break down the corner of the fort though. That's the trouble. I think that is the corner of the fort. I'd rather sort of break down a hole or like a small breach that we can go through. But it seems as though the sections of the wall are the corners, which is a bit annoying. Oh well. They're going to stand up there, they're going to die. Nearly, nearly gone. Well, there goes half of those units. That's one way to do it. I probably want some cannons just here. Probably going to put some cannons in front of the... Uh, the gate. Actually, maybe we could blow down this left side as well. Let's see what they do. Because if they stand there, we can just get some more kills. Uh, maybe we're not in line of sight. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oops. Oops, the daisies. Hello, elephants. <laughs> How you doing? Didn't see you there. <laughs> That's what happens when you're not paying attention, guys. Elephants sneak up on you. <laughs> oh, good. Like as if that's actually possible. <laughs> Look at those men go flying. Alright, we got them. Okay, good. I mean, we're actually faster running than they are. If we have enough time to, like, aim and fire. I need them to reload first before they start moving forwards. There we go. Now we're going to go hunt them. Eh. 
Yeah, I guess if we just push them off, that's fine. I don't mind otherwise. All right, uh, let's just go uh, kill these guys then on these cannons. We'll get our cannons limbered up. I have some cannons in front of the gate here. And we'll have one facing this lot. Alright, let's move up like so. And we'll have a couple units either side. Alright, uh, I might just have these move into melee mode and just charge like those guns make sure they're running and that should be fine awesome uh, oh is that unit coming back oh that's just another unit of Varga alright well that's okay as long as they're not attacking my cannons I don't mind we did lose quite a few men unnecessarily to those elephants, but because we have our cannons, I'm not too concerned. The bar gear might try and get involved with this melee, which would suck, or just straight up shoot us, which would also suck. But it is what it is. And they might also come out these gates here. Hmm, maybe I move the cannons to this gate. They do tend to like doing that more. Alright, I'm just going to stay out the way of that infantry as they move into their fort. Is there another unit coming in? There is. Blimey. How many reinforcements do they have? I didn't think it was that many. Hmm. Oh, we're getting some free shots there. That's okay. Don't mind that. Right, let's move back so we're not getting shot. I uh, probably should bring my general up just so I can keep an eye on them. I might even dismount my dragoons so we can use them to shoot pe people. Uh, we'll see. Uh, it's important that we do this right. Loads of damage coming in. When the third line fires, that's when we charge. Slam them from both sides and just overwhelm them. We're going to have to leave some units like behind to kill the units coming in. In all, I'm just going to line up like this, and then we're actually going to use the guns at this breach because they keep coming out of the breach. We got these ones heading over, so they're fine.
see about engaging them. I'm gonna charge them with these guys as well. Beautiful. Surround them nice and quick. That should wreck them. Alright, let's watch our backs. I'm gonna dismount my dragoons. Gonna need them, I think. Oh, that's not cool. Not cool at all. Alright, I guess we just move back here then. Don't want them firing at me. Seek warriors, so we're just gonna charge back into them, I guess. That's alright. Are there any more units coming in? Hope not. Oh, my cannons are right here. That is not good. Yeah, that one got taken out. We've lost most of our guns. Really quite awkward. Alright, we just uh, wrecked them with that charge. Like big time. That was a perfect charge. Oops. Well, I did wreck them with the charge and, and now I screwed it up. Oops. I should probably unlimber that. And have our men move back from that engagement. quite a few of them. That's good. Oh, perfect. Uh, those stopped firing already. That's fine. Yeah, they're having some come out of these gates. That's fine. Alright, we'll use my dragoons there. Uh, meanwhile, these guys can get hit by the canister. Uh, we have these guys in position. If I tuck them up to these ones, we can fit two regiments to the left hand side of them. Alright, and Limba. That is a juicy target. We should win that charge quite easily. The armed populace there. Yeah, they're ruined. We shattered them already. Right, 
we'll continue the shots through those units. Here the dragoons are actually doing me proud for once. Getting lots and lots of kills. Oh, lovely hit through there. Pull these ones back. Very good. I just have nowhere to run. Wait, are they charging into my unit here? Is that what's happening? That's what's happening. Um, okay. gonna be pretty dead though. Guess I'll probably have to skim the side of this wall with the cannon. Beautiful. Thought these guys need to turn. The bar gear infantry actually came back. I ended up killing a lot of the Dragoons there because I wasn't looking again. A couple of times I've been caught out in this battle now due to not paying attention, but there we go. It happens. If I can get in this armory, that would be fantastic. That would help us deal with the cab inside. Just need to be careful of these guns. Uh, they're still firing, so I'm just going to give them an order and stop them. These guys need to stop as well. That unit should be able to get the job done. Okay, never mind. Uh, we're not going to run inside. <laughs> not if they're going to come out. Are they going to do it? Hmm. Right, let's see what happens if we walk back in again. Probably just shoot these guys. I'm okay with that. Yeah, we can't get in this building, otherwise the cannons will just fire at us. So we're in a bit of a weird spot here. Attempt to just go climb the wall there. Oh, look how many men they killed there. Ouch. Ouch. Well, that gate's ours. That's nice. They're still firing at that unit. They are as well. So cheeky. Getting up there slowly but surely. The idea being I'm just going to shoot down onto these guys. I can obviously have a unit come in and just go into square formation to deal with the cav, but I need to get rid of the, um, the artillery. We're just going to have them run over there. Oh, they're coming out the breach. Looks like it. Oh, the timing on those cannon rounds.
Right, can we shoot down from here? I wonder. We can. Beautiful. That unit just got annihilated trying to come out. The cannons are being hit hard, which is what we like to see. And why charge them and engage them in melee when you can just shoot them from a wall? Alright, then we'll have these guys stop firing. And then we're going to send these guys in toward the center. They're going to let us line up and kill them? No. It's okay. If I can just get to the middle there, I can do a square formation. Probably put them both in square formations, actually. I'm not sure in range to attack them from there, so let's just come off the walls. That's it. Job done. Heroic victory. 2,237 men lost for them. That's pretty hardcore. A lot of dead dudes. Alright, let's carry on to this settlement. Uh, let's burn that down. Burn that down. Nice. Okay, and with that battle done, unfortunately, it has been my time. We are putting pressure towards India. Soon enough, we'll be taking Punjab and Sindh. But uh, that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.